Hey everyone, I'm Asha Robles, and here's what happened this week on Trend Spotting. A suspect in what appears to be a series of canine killings in Jigo has been placed under arrest. KUAM cameras were on scene as Gerald Cruz was processed at the Hagania precinct. He's facing charges of animal cruelty, reckless conduct, animal abuse, and unlawful discharge of a firearm. Animal rights advocates are applauding authorities' efforts. It was just last month when Pugwa the dog was found shot to death on private property. Pugwa's case appears to be connected to other canine nine killings in the same northern neighborhood. A day after his discovery, another dog was found dead just houses down. An autopsy revealed both pups had died from gunshot wounds. Pugo's family, Nate and Alexi Mapson, reacted to Cruz's arrest, with Nate saying, quote, We're just so relieved that we think we have the guy that did this. I've never seen him before. I don't know who this guy is. Neither does my wife. We don't know why anybody would do this. Let's hope we're closer to getting some answers. End quote. The Mapsons also extend their thanks to GAIN, Territorial Veterinarian Dr. Thomas Poole, the Rotary Club, GPD, Isla Vet Clinic, and Harper Vet Clinic, as well as all of those who supported them. The community online had quite a few things to say about this particular story. Joseph Paris says, So if a dog comes into my yard and poos for months, and I let my neighbors know that I will shoot it, will I get arrested? In response to Paris's comment, other viewers disagreed. Kristen says, Talk to your neighbors about it and if they still don't change their animals' actions, call your mayor's office. Not everything needs to be shot over a simple solution. Shantae agrees, saying, I think you may have missed the point. It's one thing if the dog is on your property, although there are other options such as calling gain or animal control. But the person who did it killed the animal when he was where he belonged. That's not just unacceptable, it's cruel. A quiet neighborhood rocked. Police now a week into what's become a homicide investigation in Chalampago. The victim, 51-year-old John Bloss. As reported, Bloss was found lifeless near the jungle line of his home last Saturday. This latest homicide has some in the community on edge. The police department, meantime, says they understand the concerns from the community. Bloss's death, now the latest homicide for investigators to solve, and authorities are looking to the public for help. Criminal investigators are waiting for the chief medical examiner to provide results of the analysis that could tell them the victim's cause of death. Here's how our followers reacted. Penny says, Guam does not seem like the safe, happy place I once lived. Such a shame. Lays also agrees, saying, It's getting scary with this string of unsolved murders. And even before that, there was that girl who went missing. Guam doesn't feel safe anymore. Anyone with information is asked to call police or Guam Crime Stoppers at 477 4357. That's 477 HELP. Last weekend, KOAM received this viewer video of an HSC-25 helicopter hoisting up a hiker in need of help at Tarzan Falls. Personnel from the Talafofo Fire Station, along with off-duty service members from Anderson Air Force Base, also assisted in the effort to rescue two injured female hikers. They reportedly had minor injuries. James Garrido states, Kudos to GFD Station 11, Talafofo, and Fire Rescue, and to all military community who's always lending a helping hand. On Wednesday, conservation officials released an endangered green sea turtle back into the wild after a year of recovery from a deadly wound. Flapping its fins, McCutie, a green sea turtle, couldn't wait to swim back home. For the past 10 months, McCutie was in the care of Sarah Hamilton, the curator at Underwater World. The team is now hoping to educate the public about preservation efforts. Viewers on Facebook were happy to see this. Here's what some of our viewers on Facebook had to say. Kari says, so happy to see this. Good job. And Marcus states, adios make cutie. Safe journeys. If you spot a turtle along the beach, especially if it looks injured, you're advised to not pick it up and instead call the Department of Agriculture or the Guam Police Department's non-emergency telephone line at 472-8911. Guam resident Dorian Robles Cison has just returned from Washington, D.C. after being honored with the 2018 Secretary of Defense Award for Outstanding Service Members and Civilians with Disabilities. Cison has been working at Dodea, Guam at Anderson Elementary School since it opened in 1997. She suffers from a spinal cord injury and now has to use a wheelchair for the rest of her life. However, her strong mindset has her embracing her new normal. Cison posted, 
posted a heartfelt message on Facebook after receiving her award. Quote, a very humbling and beautiful moment. In July 2017, I thought my life was over. My life how I knew it ended. My new life as a paraplegic is just that, a new life. The one thing that was the most difficult to change was my mindset. Thank you to my family and friends that helped me every step of the way. I literally could not have gotten where I am today without your love and support. End quote. Congratulations, Dory, from all of us here at KUAM and your friends on Instagram. That's it for now. We'll see you guys next week.